Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're talking about how to use a heavy bag when it's swinging. From a kickboxing, Muay Thai, or MMA point of view, what should you be doing with the bag when it's not staying in place? I was up doing a seminar at Prince George, or in Prince George, and many people were making common mistakes which are easily corrected and will dramatically improve your skill level on the heavy bags. So what does it look like when people make a lot of mistakes on the heavy bag? Well, something like this. They hit it a few times, it's swinging, they stop it. They just reach out and stop it like that. Swing, oh shoot, I can't figure out what to do with it. Just stop, stop. Couple reasons this is a terrible thing. Number one, it's never gonna happen in the fight. This is not recreating the fight in any way. You're never gonna get to go forward and be like, oh, okay, you just hold still here. Number two, it's giving you a break. There's not many points in a fight where you can just walk up and just go feet planted, no movement, full recovery. Usually you're either blocking, you're getting ready to hit or hitting, or you're bouncing and you're on your feet, your toes, you're moving around. So having that moment where you come up towards a bag and you just go, oh, I'm gonna go from moving to stopping. Okay, no more movement, no more movement. That's terrible. So let's talk about some ways that we can utilize a swinging bag and stopping it correctly. Number one, for anything that I mentioned already, fight sports with legs, Muay Thai, kickboxing, MMA, perfect time to practice that bag, that swinging bag, emulating somebody rushing at you and you using your front kick to stop them. So whether you hit with some hard punches and the bag starts swinging, or you throw a big kick and the bag swings, all we need is a front kick. And you're just gonna try off that, stop it. In addition, you can also catch an angle and use a round kick to stop the bag. So if this guy's swinging away, I don't need to just stay in front. I can shuffle to the side and slow it down. But remember, a little movement is always good. Why is a little movement in the bag always good? Well, it recreates an opponent who's not gonna stand completely still. Very rare where you're gonna move forward, throw shots, and somebody's just gonna stand there and not move. They might come towards you, they might back away. So what you are looking to accomplish when the bag starts swinging is to track it, to follow it, whether it's forwards or backwards. And that would look something like this. And remember, in between all that movement of moving forwards and backwards and tracking, I can at any point decide, oh, okay, I'm tired of this and I want to stop the bag. That's it. That's all I have to do. But maybe you're not wanting to stop the bag with a kick every time. What are other ways that we get this bag back to stationary while still making it realistic? Well, number one, think of a tight guard super tight guard where our hands are up and we almost go forearm to forearm with our opponent. That happens a lot. If the bag is swinging and you wanna stop it, sometimes you can just step in and jam that bag with your forearms. Then from there, most likely you're gonna work from the inside before getting that exit. This is a very important thing to do if you're somebody who likes to do that inside fighting and it's a perfect opportunity to pause that bag from swinging back and forward. In addition, for Muay Thai or anything where we're thinking about a long guard, perfect opportunity to practice that. Bag is swinging away, I'm hitting it, I threw a kick, and then long guard. Bag comes towards you, long guard, pause, make sure your long guard is strong enough to actually stop somebody in their tracks. When we start mixing this all together, it makes for a very nice looking bag work and it makes it much more similar to sparring or an actual fight. I'm hitting away, oh, it's coming, stop it. I hit the bag a couple times, long guard. Catch, 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 I'm tracking it, moving around, I want it to stop step to the side for the round kick. So many things we can do to pause this bag. But remember, small movement is never a bad thing because it gives us that opportunity to work timing. If we want to stop the bag and we just want to throw a power cross, don't worry about, oh, the bag has to be stationary. We can just go, oh, I'm timing it. Hit it at that perfect moment. So we end up having to go on the bag's time as opposed to our own time. 
Anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you some tips on bag movement and how to make this bag, when it's swinging, work for you so your skills improve. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a like. If you haven't already, join the channel, get subscribed. As always, train hard, and I will see you back here soon for another episode.